Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, I believe we are doing installment five of a Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So I've got a playlist on Roxy's Weekly Challenge, so you can always have a look at it. But today we are doing collaged tags, okay? But we are, <coughs> excuse me, we are doing collaged floral tags okay so what do we need in order to be able to do that okay so you need more of neutral papers so i've got some coffee dye pages here but i've got full coffee dye pages and you might need bigger ones uh like the size would be fine uh you know me i mean you don't need scraps okay so keep that on hand then you need some neutral pages and then what I did is that I um, this is my neutral neutral pages in here okay so I've got some book end pages in here and I've got here you can have your scraps some some of these and some of this um, different color pages and yeah i've got you know a variety of pages in here lots of scraps in here which i will be using uh then you'll need some uh digitals you don't have to use digitals if you don't want to but even if you are using digitals make sure that it they are not busy digitals and they are quite neutral in color okay uh you'll need some book pages as i mentioned some book in pages, etc. Okay, so these are all my book in pages, and some are neutral, some got design, I mean, writing on it. We'll see how it goes. I've got way too many here, more than I need. Okay, and this was yesterday's book, so we'll be using that as well. All right, so you want to divide it into three parts oh, or two, mm -hmm, depending. I would say three. And this is your book pages, your ones that are, you know, uh, there's they, some, uh, in my case, I've got some, uh, you know, nothing, blank, blank, that's the word, blank stuff. And then I've also got writing on it over here. So I will add this maybe to this lot over here. And I'm probably going to keep the lot, you know, off camera because I don't have a lot of space to work with. Then you've got your... Uh, digitals here and then you've got like for example your ones that are more blank as such okay so that's that and then you'll need a probably something to glue on okay and then you will also need your glue a pair of scissors uh ink because you are going to be stamping and I think I'm going to use green and maybe blue. So I'm going to take up some blue ink here as quickly as possible. Maybe I will use some brown. I don't know. It's blue. Okay. So I'm going to take out blue as well. All right. And then what else do you need? Well, your stamps, as I mentioned. And then you need old book pages because these are going to form the base of what you are doing. Cool. So you can use a glue stick or you can use a, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, you can use a glue stick or you can use a uh, wet glue. Sorry, I'm just thinking, Rachel made larger tags, but we'll see how it goes. So I've got two of the, I'm not sure the collaging takes long to do so we might just get with two or three I don't know let's see let's start with this one here right and it doesn't really matter if the edges are crooked because we're going to straighten that up so I'm going to start with let's say I'm going to go with the neutral stuff first so I'm going to make one with just neutral scraps so a great way to use up your scraps. I think it's perfect. And let's see what we're going to pull out here. So um, 
so even if you're using up your scraps make sure you try to get pages of a different color so i've got some pages over here uh, that well they're different colors right and uh, i'm gonna use that and oh there's a piece of that thing there that thingy i should have had more of those but um, might have i don't know uh trying to just look what do i have here that's different in color uh let's do some pink since it's valentine's and Right, I think, I think, oh, we've got a lot to play with over here. Let's do something dark, but this is cardboard, so maybe that's not going to work. Oh, this is pretty. I think it's avocado dyed paper. Let's, let's see what we can create with this so far. So we're only using neutrals over here, and then we're using some pink, and maybe the other one I'm going to use some green or something in it. Okay, so where's our page now that we are working with? We are working with this over here and they're all pretty light so I might consider using my glue stick. I might change over. I'm not sure. And let's say I want that and I should have a tear ruler here, right? Let's hope this is going to work. Otherwise, I'm going to have to step away from my room over here. Not my room, my craft table and get my ruler on the other side. Oh, man, can you believe this? This is so annoying. Right, so let's say I want that much. Okay, and then I'm going to stick that here like that. Okay, let's neaten that edge because it will just help me know how to lay my um, pages. You don't have to take it to the end if you don't want to. Off the page. Let's just do that. I need to take out a little bit more right that's great that's straighter now yep so that's it and let's play so i think i'm just going to do this i'm going to just put some glue here and then we'll see how it goes yep so i saw you yesterday and i'm seeing you again today that's nice, isn't that so? And I want this one here because I love the color. And I want to use that. So I am definitely going to say, right, let's use that. Okay, I want to keep that number there. Uh, let's put it here. Like that. And then you, you collage with the bigger pieces. And then you come in with the smaller pieces. definitely want to add that there and I think that might work nicely there and then we've got this here but I think it's a bit too long uh, or too big so maybe I'm going to consider just tearing it down like that and putting it maybe here no I don't really like that maybe there that let's take another color let's add another color here how cool is this page it has something written on it i will share that later and i want to keep that edge that's a bit torn the tattered and torn that I'm going to center that a little bit so that we can still have some of the the normal page showing let's come in with the avocado dyed one here maybe like that and 
it looks like it's glued but it's not so let's just glue this on properly here Yes, this glue is really annoying today. Now it's gone onto that part. It's got like big blobs in it. See, like that. And then maybe, let's see if we take this here. We can add it there. Like, no, I don't want to add it there. I want to add it here. Okay, so I'm going to add that here. like that and just put more uh, I think I might switch to the other glue okay and then I think I think I want to add a small little strip over there okay so I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna add it there and let's see if it's going to be enough yep like that Okay, so I'm going to add that there, like that. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we should just pick this up if it allows us to. Yes, it does. Like that. Okay, so page number one is ready. I think what I might do is that I might just step away in order to be able to um dry them dry the glue before we start cutting it okay so just just maybe just be aware that i might do that okay so now here i'm going to do book pages okay and i like that color and i think i'm gonna bring it in like that okay so you, you you're gluing pretty large pieces see how it works and then I said book pages right okay these two here so let's add this text here it looks nice uh, this is some German print here I'm gonna add that there that and let's add some green to this uh, what color is this yep got some of this okay we'll add that at the end how's that okay maybe down there or something like that um what else do we have here I like this one I'm gonna add some of this to it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry what's wrong okay I'm gonna add that to that like that and then uh, maybe no let's see what else we have oh this is nice okay so I'm gonna add that can you see how neutral it is hey really neutral so just gonna take that piece there and I guess it's up to you how neutral you want it doesn't really matter like that and now let's add our avocado they okay maybe I don't know because I really don't want to cover up the writing 
we'll see what we get. <laughs> Let's do that like that. So I've got pages all over the place now. Something like that. See, like that. Okay. And then now I'm going to add the green across. So kind of like that. Okay. So let's try that now. Let's add some neatness here. My pages. Because the next one I think we can make is a, um, a combination with some of our digital. Just need to, to glue this down again. Like that. And I think we'll stop at three. I don't think we should, I'm gonna go more than three. Okay, like that. And then I want to add one more color because I don't want this strip to run fully. Like that. And then we've got this here, which is a very interesting color. And hopefully we can make it look nice. Okay. That I'm going to add here. Like this. Like that. Just add some more glue here. There we go. So that's the second one done. Mm -hmm. And then the third one. Let's use that one there. And now we're going to add some digitals to it as well. Okay, so let's add some of this. should be stop it there so how easy is this i did take out some digitals to work with the must add because i didn't have much like uh neutral digitals so i didn't print them they were in my stash already so it wasn't like i had to go ahead and print these or anything nope they were there to be used so it's a good thing i like roxy's weekly creation because i try different things and also i'm building my stash so it's really growing i must add and most of the the ones that she does is um what's this floral based floral based yeah so in actual fact uh, what happens is that with all her creations you can actually do a journal uh, a, a, like a floral journal I'm keeping that piece there because I want to use it let's add that thing And I might just go and look for some tea stain doilies if I have. And then I'm just going to add it to the top to add a little bit of interest. Oh, let's not put it upside down. Let's try and put it the right side up. Okay, like that. 
Okay, and then let's use some of this. This is crooked. No, this glue is annoying today. That looks weird. So let me straighten that edge. Like that. That's fine. There and then. What else can we use? What about this here? I want that B in the. Want the B in like that, but I think I'm gonna put the B there like this. that I want another digital maybe a little bit of this very light I can use the flower but are we going to stamp with flowers so I think maybe not yep I'm gonna add that thing Not using all. Okay, we'll use all like that, and then we'll cut it out, and then this is something that I might want to add going in that direction because I've got too many things going in okay like this yeah something like that there and then definitely a piece of this again because this is beautiful But I won't take it all the way up. Let's just do that. There. Like that. Okay, so we are done. I'm going to pause this video to dry this. And then I'll come back to you. Because you really don't want to see me dry, right? Okay, great stuff. See you soon. Oh, 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 wait, I'm not going to pause the video. There's one part we should be doing before we actually go and dry the, these. And I'll show that to you now. So I'm just going to neaten the edge over here. Like that. Then what we need to do is because they are going to be tags, what we must do is we must cover the back with our coffee dyed paper it's only now when I, mean, I woke up i saw the coffee dyed paper there that's when i realized uh oh missing a step missing a step okay so i'm going to now cover that with the coffee dyed paper okay let's see if we can get away with perfect we can get away with doing it this way and now i think i'm going to pull out my glue to be able to do this step here just want to drink some water. Yeah, so this is a really nice part. I think I think when you're finished, 
um, I think if I do this project the next time around, I will look for wider uh, book tags. I mean, sorry, book pages. Uh, I don't have anything wider. So we're going to see how we're going to cut these. That's like almost an exact fit. Yeah. Right, great stuff. And I think I have another one that I can do that with. Just let me get it. Could have been this one here. Yes, so that's going to fit there. And I just need to trim this edge down here. And here as well. Okay, and then... like that something like that yep like that and we'll add it here but we'll take it to let's remove that we'll take it to this edge here like that Okay, so the only thing that you might need over here uh, is that your floral stamps might need to be a little bit on the big side, uh, not at the smallest side. Looking for my third one. We, company, where did you put your third? Oh, there's the third. There's your third one here. And there we go. More coffee dyed paper. And that's basically it. As I said, I'm just going to pause this video to allow this to dry or to dry it rather uh, with my heat gun. And then I'm going to get back to you. And I'm going to see whether I can find any um, what's this one? coffee dyed. Is that going to fit there? No, that's too large. So you're going to have to turn it this side to be able to fit there. Okay, like that. And then I'm just going to add some glue here. Oh, this thing is weeping badly. And then just a little bit here. Oh my greatness, look at this thing. Where's the cap? I can't even find the cap. I have no idea where's the cap. Somewhere amongst this mess is the cap. Okay, great. Now let me just pause this video to dry this now. Hopefully I'll find the cap. Oh, there's... No, no. See you soon. Okay, dokie. So I found my glue uh, cap. It had fallen on the floor. And I also found some of the coffee dyed, um, what's these words, doilies. Okay, so I didn't want to glue them on. I thought I'll take you on the journey. So let's just now cut this to size like that. Okay, and then let's just... Cut this down here as well. Ooh, nearly, nearly make a boo boo on it. There and there. Maybe a little bit more. Yep, there we go. And then this one here. We're going to cut this down as well. This has to be cut down on two sides. So. Let's cut it down on this side first. Okay, and let's see if it fits. Yeah, it just fits. It just fits here. Yeah. To be cut down on this side as well. Okay, cool. Bananas. There we are. Okay, so 
don't know what now let's add oh and you might need like some labels and stuff like that depending on what you want to do so let's maybe add some coffee dye over here okay so i'm gonna use this glue should have actually done it before i put the camera on because now this is going to be wet glue on it we'll try and work with it gosh this thing is not sticking at all because i'm trying to put so little that's better and then maybe something that if you got straw paper then it would look really nice straw paper okay and then just want to add a little bit more here and I'm just going to turn it over like that on this side now I'm messing my table And then the last one is on this one. And should we add it there? Yeah. Or should we add it here? No, I think here is better. Just let's add it there. Like that. Okay. Done. Sorry, that was not in frame. There we go. I just added that. My apologies. Right, now what? Now we're going to take our cutter and we are going to cut the tags down. So what I'm going to do because of the orientation or the size of these here, I am going to make, it's supposed to be long narrow tags. So I'm gonna make a tag in this direction, which is a shorter tag, which is not ideal because we're not getting the variety that we want. And then I'm going to make two narrower tags, okay, like that, there and there. Okay, so on this one here, I'm going to do the same, but I'm just going to turn it around like this, add that in there. Because I think I'll get a little bit more variety there. Make a tag like that. Yep. And then these two here. And here too now. You can. We're going to cut that B in half. Oh well. It is what it is. Not so much. I kept the B. I kept the B as much as possible. Here, I'm going to do the very same thing as well. So I'm gonna have like a shorter tag and then two narrow tags. And I'm going to do that, like that. And then I don't want my tags to be too narrow. So hence the reason why I'm only getting two out of it. Okay, there we go, those are done now. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stamp. You are going to stamp. And maybe that's not gonna be big enough. Maybe this is going to be big enough. So what stamps do I have? Aha, uh -huh. this is the Tim Holtz collection. I'm gonna add that thing. I hate this thing, I don't like it. That's why you don't see me using it. Hey, I'm gonna use the, ooh, <laughs> blue first, and I hope it stamps well because you can see I haven't used the stamp before. It's the first time I'm using it. And okay, just checking if I got a wet wipe on this side. 
and this is not a nice stamp pad that's why I don't like it so we're going to try and see okay and then you can add tabs so Rachel added straw paper like to define the tab I don't have straw paper I have some that one that's close to straw paper I might use that but I might not use it let's see okay decent enough I'm not happy with the print nothing's wrong with the stamp it's just this part here the middle part that leaves that part you know that's not fully done I should be using my stamping tool but I'm not Okay, so let's try this one here now. I also, I'm, uh, I'm going to also stamp it in blue over here, like that. Hmm, hubby's home. I can hear him. Okay, well, I can hear the door close. Yes. So let's try this one now. Yes, yeah, so uh, that's the thing. Uh, I guess you don't have to do it floral, hey? You don't have to do it floral. If you don't have anything that's, I mean, if you don't have big floral stamps, then you can use any stamp, as you're going to see just now. Yeah, okay. Try it better. Uh let's see for the shorter ones maybe we can use like maybe this one here yeah can use that one will that fit there yes it'll fit here like that now these are just pretty just pretty Okay. Yes, yeah, see, it transfers so much better with this one here. Like that, and then, oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's just make sure that we sort out those edges there. Right, oh, done. Done. Okay, so that's that I might not do all because I want to complete this with you uh, let's do this one as well because it's also a short one yep and I'm gonna make it fit there I'm gonna do green now okay where's the green there's the green I like green and blue I like both colors. Okay, so. Sorry if the stamping irritates you. I'll try my best to get that part in there because that part is sticking out there and here as well. Oh, well. Good enough. Okay. And then maybe just one more and then I will did I do this one I did not do this one I don't think I did it let's do it in green should we go yes I like that oh <laughs> but I can do it I can do it without it but uh, yeah, they're a bit tall, you know. They're hard to hold in the hand. Let's do these here, and then I probably will do more for the video and, uh, and then get back and then show you the final product. Hopefully we'll get a better print. Okay, cool. Good enough. Okay. And then just let me wipe this out and then just put it there. Sorry, you know, try 
Yeah, right. So we are done with that. And then you don't have to use a corner rounder at all. But if you want to, you can. And then just some tags. Some labels and then to show off with my new green labels that I got I've got a nice nice crafting haul uh, the other day I, I really did go a little wild that's nice I think I might use that so Look at that. We've got some tabs over here that are made out of uh, florals. Okay, but I don't like that one. I probably will use the shape here. Right, so how many do we have? Two, three. Uh, five okay let's do that so I've got tabs so I'm using my tabs if you don't have tabs then you can do what Rachel did okay and you can do them in uh, what's what size is this I gotta I think we'll do a quarter inch here like that and you can uh, round bottom and top I'm going to round the bottoms first and then I'll add the tab and I'll tell you if I well I might add uh, around the top as well just checking the paper there we go three four and five now these are really 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 simple as you can see they're really really simple and i like inking so i will go back and ink but because i'm adding my tabs on obviously i can't go back and ink so i'm just going to ink these tabs over here quickly oh there's two here like that and let's see Oopsie, oopsie, yeah, so not sure how long this video is. I don't time myself. Uh, these I think I cut with my uh, silhouette. Right, done. Okay. I know that many of you don't like to see people inking, but I'm so sorry if you had to see that. Uh, but it is part of the process, and I try to make it as fast as possible. I think I might round the top edges as well. I think I might just round those top edges. Okay, so let's add that B like this look how easy that is now I'm gonna, lo um, I'm gonna see whether the top edge will look nice rounded let's try that with a quarter inch nice Anthony you can't you can't because you put you put the label on it I'm in the tabs. So. There, you can do that as well. Okay, there you go. So let's try it with the other one. Let's round it before we put the tab like that. Okay, and then let's add this. And then let's use some uh, labels. 
yeah i like it i like it much better with the edges rounded on the top looks pretty cool okay so let's round making sure i'm doing the quarter inch like that and oh come on <laughs> it just refuses to get picked up all right so that's that now okay and then uh, on these ones here i think i'm gonna put this brown ones here okay so those are done because they are floral tabs and you know i like stamping so i might go in and do some stamps on it after i put the tickets though want to see how the tickets look before i do the stamping whether the tickets are going to cover up most of the parts you know the blank parts if i could say that but i think the whole idea look at that got to stamp the one I mean cut the one edge or corner around it nice you can even sew around these if you want to they would look actually quite cute if you sewed around them I probably will sew around them when I want to use them like that all right those are done all right so now let's put some did i lose that there's the cap i know you're going to tell me oh you should get that stuff well the one i have on my little one but the problem is to be honest i don't want to use it okay so what should we use let's see what we have in our boxes as well okay because we've got labels here something like that the oh yeah I'm not I, I think I want to put that one there and then I want to put this one a little bit on this side like that and then what do we have here this looks big so I think I'm gonna put this here like that and then maybe this on this side here gosh they all look like they're going to be the same this one here maybe i'm going to add it like that down there just to be different and then a small one over here gosh my light is flickering and then this one i think i want oh too big i wonder something like that and so if you can see my light flickering please excuse me maybe something like that thing eh? okay i might add some uh 
what's the word I'm looking for I might add some stamping to it because I think it is looking a bit on the plain side so I might add some stamping to it no that's too big Gosh, I hope that that's not too disturbing for you. That's blue. We can't use. Well, we can. We can do anything we want to, right? Yeah, that. So, that's what I'm going to do. And unfortunately, I am going to have to ink. Yeah. Inky, inky, inky. Can I add that one there? Can I add this one here? Like this. Okay. No. Actually, this one looks better here. But we're going to add it there. Let's bring this down here. Okay. So, since we know where we're going to put it, let's add it because trust me I will forget okay I'm gonna pause this video because I don't know how it's coming across on camera over there uh, but I need to go and sort my uh, light out because I don't know what's happening to the light and I'll be back okay let's hope that it's fine but I think if I look now, the video is running for a few good minutes. So I think I'm going to add these labels and then do some stamping. And I'm going to come back to you so that we don't have a very long video. Okay, give me a second. All right, so I am back and I've got these still to do. But I thought the ones that I did with you, I'd, I'd show it to you. So I uh, kind of, um, all I did different was I added the E there. And then this one had another kind of a stamp on it. I mean, label, which I changed. And I then went and did some secondary stamping on it. Because I found that there was just about too many like white edges. Uh, or white pieces. So I'm just going to cut this down here. Like that. Oh, and then I will just go around inking it. But I thought I would bring it to you. So I'll go around to ink the edges. But I thought, let me show you what they look like. So that's it. So you can see the secondary stamping over there. In here as well. Okay, and then this one here. I think they're pretty cute. I, I like them. There's not a lot of work involved in it. I mean, from beginning to end, and I'm slow. And we made for uh, five. Okay, so that's basically it. And the only thing I will do to take a photograph now. Uh, for your stall shots is I will ink them and I will finish it off okay so I do hope that you enjoyed this process over here and please go and check out uh, Rachel at uh, and the hashtag is Roxy's weekly challenge and her um, YouTube channel is Roxy's creations and you can jump in and follow on, along at any time you want to use hashtag Roxy's weekly challenge in order to be able to post your creations so if you enjoyed this content then please give it a thumbs up and also if uh, you are not yet a subscriber please consider subscribing and then also comment we'll call these oh my goodness I can't remember what she called it narrow tags okay I will mm, probably change the uh, the uh, the heading of the or the title of the video to <laughs> conform to what it was but for the comments narrow tags okay and do take care everybody lots of love from me santani at sunny creates and have a blessed week and i will see you on friday bye bye